Population growth formulas allow us to determine the rate of population change with respect to certain variables, including population size, births, deaths, per capita growth rate, and carrying capacity. Let's take a look at the variables in these three equations. dn over dt simply represents the amount of change in population size over a given period of time. One way to determine how much a population size has changed is to subtract the number of deaths from births if that data is given. For example, in one year, a squirrel population of 173 experienced 71 births and 12 deaths. dn over dt, or the amount of change in that given period of time, is 59 for a new population of 232 squirrels. Sometimes we're given a population size before and after a certain period of time. To determine dn over dt, simply subtract the population before from the population after. Consider the following populations. Which population had a greater rate of growth? Which population had a greater dn over dt? Well, population A had a greater change in population over time, but less growth relative to its original population size. Population B nearly doubled. R max is the maximum growth rate per capita. Per capita means per person, so it's a measure of population growth in relationship to the number of individuals in the original population, represented by n. If we know dn over dt, we can determine R max and make predictions about future population growth. To determine R max from a population's growth, we must first know how that population is growing. Is the population unrestricted? and growing exponentially? Or is the population growing under the limit of a carrying capacity? If a carrying capacity is not given, we will assume the population is growing exponentially. Example, in one year, a squirrel population increased from 134 to 201. Determine the maximum growth rate per capita. Note that a carrying capacity was not given, so we will use the exponential growth equation. The original population is n, that's 134. dn over dt, the amount of change in the population size, is 67. Divide to isolate r max, and we get a value of 0.5. Now that we've determined r max, we can predict future growth. What do we expect the population size to be after three generations? We can figure this out by setting up a simple table. Start with the original population size given. Multiply the population by r max plus 1. Of course, as the example stated, we now have a population of 201. Repeat for the second and third generation. There will be approximately 452 squirrels after three generations if the population continues to grow exponentially at a maximum growth rate of 0.5. But what about a population that is restricted by a carrying capacity? A population limited by a carrying capacity cannot continue to grow exponentially. It grows logistically. Only if the carrying capacity is given, use the logistic growth formula to solve for R max. The logistic growth formula includes carrying capacity, the variable k. Example. A population of 112 deer inhabit a forest ecosystem that can support 250 deer. If the population grows to 145 after one year, what is the maximum growth rate of the population? n is the initial population, that's 112. dn over dt, the amount of change in that given period of time, is 33. We now have a carrying capacity, which is represented by the variable k. This ecosystem can support 250 deer. Solve the right side of the equation and isolate for R max, we get a value of 0.53. Now let's take a look at some questions where R max is a given value and you need to determine the growth of the population. Example, a population of 80 fish is growing at a maximum rate of 0.35. Predict the size of the population after one generation. R max is now a given value. My initial population size is 80. The change in population is 28 fish. But don't forget, to solve this question, we have to predict the size of the population. After one generation, we expect there to be 108 fish. 
Now let's plug the same information, including the same Rmax, into the logistic growth equation. Notice the example now has a carrying capacity. In this example, dn over dt is now only 13 fish. And after one generation, we only expect there to be 93 fish. With the same maximum per capita growth rate and original population size, the logistic growth equation results in less population growth over time. This example illustrates that a population restricted by a carrying capacity and density dependent limiting factors will increase at a slower rate than a population growing exponentially.